sex and Harry Potter. Because ah! truly, there's nothing more interesting than sex and Harry Potter. Now, I remember growing up and becoming a teenager and then all my friends being teenagers and then us reading Harry Potter and being like, so, um, how often do you think they chippa chippa? Because honestly, the rules are kind of lax and it's always very unclear, but girls can go into the boys' dormitories with, at least in the Gryffindor common room, with like no rules or regulations, so... And also, I'm like 90% sure that there has to be some kind of spell or potion where it's just like, no prego! I mean, I never really hear about anyone at Hogwarts just being pregnant. Now, that's not the only weird sex stuff going on. There's also a lot of really weird, like, undertones and strange things. Like, the fact that Umbridge got raped by centaurs in the Forbidden Forest, which is just... And I'm not like reading into this, okay? Like I'm very anti-rape and I'm very like, you know, I just rape culture is a very real and serious problem. But Umbridge got raped by centaurs in the Forbidden Forest. Like, if you know anything about the mythology of centaurs, that's what they do. They rape. Like that's what they do. They just rape people all the time. And the most messed up part about all this is that Hermione, who clearly knows everything ever in the series and in the wizarding world, is well aware that that's what's happening. Which just, Hermione, like, isn't that a little far? And even more to add to that argument is when you like see Umbridge in the hospital later on in the series and she's like all, she got raped by centaurs. Another weird sex thing, but people seem to remember this one more, is Aberforth, Dumbledore, and his goats. Now Aberforth, Got in trouble for goats, and if you know anything about goats, you know you're they're one of the animals that have human-like vaginas. So, yay, <laughs> JK Rowling, thank you. Other weird sex things that I've always wondered, I'm like, did Snape die a virgin? Because he was always pining for Lily. What was going on with Voldemort and Bellatrix? Because there's just some like, ugh. Let's not forget that date rape is like a thing that totally exists in the wizarding world. There's date rape drugs in the form of love potions. And not only is there date rape drugs in the form of love potions, but JKR is really serious in her disapproval of them because actually Voldemort is the son of date rape. His mother just kept putting potions on his father and he is a loveless child and that's why he's so evil and can't feel things. Like that's part of the whole Voldemort backstory, which is actually really kind of interesting and intelligent, this whole idea of like forcing people to love you and just, just very against that entire notion. Something I've always been confused about in the Wizarding World too is that there seems to be a lot of inner species like sex going on. Hagrid's father had sex with a giant, like it created a child, so I don't, know how that works exactly because I guess reproductively there's I'm really I'm kind of confused by that because the book is very much like we shouldn't discriminate against half giants or half muggles and half wizards but the thing is like how does that work exactly? I understand that wizards and muggles are the same species so that's not a problem one just has magical properties and the other one doesn't have magical properties but in the case of half giants how does that work? And earlier in the series Ron mentions that some like character I think it's like Crab or Goyle has a little bit of troll in them and how does that work? Like, how does that come to pass? And I know that we're not supposed to pass judgment on it. Like, you know, I mean, Harry Potter is basically an entire screed against racism. So, but that's never, ever solved. Ever. And so I just I have all these questions. All these questions. Wasn't Pottermore supposed to answer these? I'm so confused. Anyway, this is just some of the weird sex stuff that I thought about and found just thinking about Harry Potter. Have you found any of them? Let me know in the comments below or just message me on Tumblr or one of my social medias because this is actually something I'm really curious about. Oh yay! Sex with Harry Potter! Ah, everyone's favorite things ever! Wee! Bye!